Hi there, Francis Potter here from GitLab. We're gonna look at SSH keys. So my goal today is to create an SSH key, upload it to a GitLab instance, and then clone, pull, and push to a project using that SSH key. Um, so it's just a really quick demo of how SSH works with GitLab in any GitLab instance for which SSH is configured and turned on. Uh, I am going to uh, share a screen here and then we will get started. Thank you so much for your time and attention. So this is a GitLab project on a GitLab instance. It's just a test project. There's not much here, just a readme. And uh, I've got this link that says, hey, you won't be able to push your pull by SSH to add an SSH key to your profile. So I'm gonna open that in, a, um, in another tab here. And here's a place where I can paste my SSH key and uh, give it a title. It'll actually probably pull that title directly from the key, give it an expiration date if I want to. Then in the uh, GitLab documentation, there's clear documentation on how to generate an SSH key and how to upload and use that with GitLab. Uh, this is a common everyday operation for hundreds of thousands, millions of GitLab users. So, um, so we should be able to do this pretty easily. So I'm gonna uh, copy that. I'm gonna go over to my uh, terminal window here and uh, I'm just gonna paste that in. And I'm gonna say, this is uh, for demo video. Okay, it asks to enter the file in which to share the key, which to save the key. I'm actually going to change this because I want, I want this to be a one-time use kind of situation. So, um, I'm gonna call this key or demo video so I can delete it later um, just to like make it be uh, separate. Um, keys, SSH keys by default are stored in your user folder .ssh. So I'm still storing it there. I'm just giving it a different name. I actually have several keys in that folder and you're not gonna be allowed to see any of them. Uh, enter a passphrase. It is good practice to use a passphrase but I am not gonna use a passphrase for this. I'm just gonna generate that. So now it is generated my private key there and my public key here. And uh, I actually wanna see that public key so I can paste it into GitLab. So I'm gonna cap that. Um, I'm doing a copy and a paste and cut that right out. There we go. And then I'm gonna select all this and I'm gonna copy that. And I'm gonna go back over here to uh, my browser and I'm gonna go to my SSH keys and I'm gonna paste that right in. Now GitLab supports a number of different kinds of SSH keys and you can actually enable and disable at the administrative level in your GitLab instance. If you're not using gitlab.com, you can enable and disable which kinds of SSH keys it supports. You can also disable the use of SSH if you want or disable the use of HTTPS for Git operations. So all of those controls exist uh, at the instance administration level for self-managed customers only. Uh, notice when I pasted this in, it automatically gave it a title that came from the, um, the little comment that I'd given when I created the key. Um, and boom, there's my key. So now I'm going to go back over to my project here. Um, I'm going to uh, hide this little message here. And I'm going to clone this repo with SSH. Now, because I, um, because I put that key in a special file, I can't use the git clone operation directly. If you'd used a standard uh, SSH key file name, then you'd be able to just say git clone in that file. But you actually can't because um, there's a, because a git clone assumes your default. So I'm actually gonna go back to my history here because I did this once before. And notice I'm just setting a variable called git SSH command is SSH hyphen I with the correct key, okay? And then I do git clone and this repo that, uh, that I just copied. I could paste that again, but I'm not gonna do it. So that'll do my git clone operation. Cloning into test project. Great. Uh, if I do a little LS, there's my test project at the bottom there. CD test project. There's that readme file. Let's, uh, let's just make a little quick edit there. Edit it on SSH connection. Um, and we're gonna save that and we're gonna quit that. And uh, so now we've got, I do git status. I've got um, the readme has changed. We're gonna add that. Boom, we're gonna commit that. 
Boom, and now I'm going to do a git push origin master. Oh, sorry. I need to do my SSH change again. And there, my change has been pushed up to the repo using SSH. I can refresh it here. And this is actually a very low performing um, Git lab installation, but uh, they're edited on SSH connection. So what have we seen? We've seen um, creating an SSH key, enabling that SSH key for that user record. We've seen cloning a project using that SSH key, making a change and pushing the project using that SSH key, all using SSH. So thanks so much for your attention. And uh, I hope this was uh, helpful.